Welcome to another thrilling episode of Mr. O Reads Messages with Cats. It's a rainy day. In fact, the uh, HKO website is telling us that it is red rain, thunderstorms, mudslides. Actually, what is that one? Oh. It means special announcement of flooding in the Northern New Territories. So if you're in the north part of Hong Kong, be careful. So I've got some messages, lots of lovely messages today. Let's have a look at some of these. The first one is from Ginny uh, from the BC. She says, hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Ginny. Uh, do you still remember me? Yes, Ginny, I absolutely remember you and your sister. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen you, but uh, I definitely remember you. The next message is from Ella Chan, who I know from the BC as well. She asks, well, she sent me lots of messages actually, so I'll just read some. Hi, Mr. O, how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm very well, Ella, thank you for asking. I want to know what songs you like. My favourite songs are See You Again, Into the Unknown. Into the Unknown. What is your favourite song? Wow, now that is a big question because I love music and I have hundreds of favourite songs, hundreds. So uh, I'm from the uh, generation of, uh, you know, when people still bought uh, the, the music that they wanted to listen to and you had a real thing when you bought it. So I'm going to show you some of my uh, favourite musicians uh, and you can bet that some of my favourite songs are included in their work. Credence. Credence Clearwater Revival. Amazing band. Love them. Bob. Bob Dylan. I mean, what can I say? The Beatles. I mean, it's the Beatles. Amazing, pretty much every song is amazing. Martin Carthy, folk singer. Uh, Nick Jones, one of my favorite, um, probably my favorite folk singer and guitarist ever. His Joni, Joni Mitchell, Blue, Hissing of Summer Lawns, amazing albums, great singer. Uh, heavier stuff now. Foo Fighters, amazing. Green Day, brilliant. Pretty much anything by ACDC, uh, this is Bob. Dylan again. Smashing Pumpkins, amazing band. I went to see them live. Prince, amazing. I went to see him live. Unfortunately, he passed away recently. Uh, Meat Puppets, country punk band. Uh, love their stuff. I've got all of their albums. Nirvana, classic. Pearl Jam, pretty much love everything that they've ever done. REM, love everything they've done. Went to see them in concert. This was the first album that I ever bought, ever. R.E.M. Out of Time. Sublime, amazing. Gin Blossoms, I love this album. Sonic Youth, Dirty, classic, classic album. But I don't just like heavy stuff, I like jazz, I like country, I like all kinds of music. Just a few little, uh, a few people that I like um, for classic. I like quite old, like medieval um, music, so Talis. Thomas Tallis, I love everything that he wrote. Uh, spiritual classics like Miserere, amazing, beautiful. Um, and also if I'm relaxing, a bit of Chopin, don't mind if I do. So, I don't know if that really answers your question, but it certainly gave me a chance to talk about a small number of my uh, CDs, my CD collection, bands that I love. Next message, a couple of short ones. This is uh, from ML from the BC. He just says, hi there, Mr. O. Hi there, thank you for writing. This is from HT from the BC. She says, hello, Mr. O, I wrote this message after your lesson. You asked me to describe the Taj Mahal, but I couldn't describe it. So I searched the internet, it should be holy. So the word that she was trying to think of was holy. Therefore, I wanted to say, I think the Taj Mahal is a holy place. 
that is very interesting. And what I really like is that you not quite sure of a word, you went off, you checked it out, found the one that you were looking for, and you got back to me. That is good. Thank you. This next one is from Aiden, uh, Aiden Zhang or Aiden Sang. He said, uh, Mr. O, I miss you a lot. Aiden, I miss you too. Do you remember the music video that we made? Yes, I remember it. It was amazing. Keep making fun videos. Bye. I will. I will keep making them because I know that you're watching them and I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, he sent me another message which was, what did you use for the bowl of desert in Mr. O gets it wrong? Uh, desert or dessert? Uh, I used real sand from, but not from a desert, from the beach. Um, as you can see in uh, this clip. I didn't eat any. I was lucky that none went into my mouth because that would be very gross, dirty and disgusting. Wow. This is a message from Ethan Yu. He is an old student of mine. Um, he said, please read. I spent a lot of time typing, so there might be some mistakes because I was typing super fast like Naruto running fast. Good. Hi Mr. O, I've been getting into yo-yo lately because of school and I found that yo-yo has more than five styles. That is crazy. I'm now practicing 1A, 5A and a little bit of 2A. I will now explain all the styles. And he really does explain all the styles. <laughs> Question, have you played with a yo-yo? If so, what trick? Uh, yeah, I can, I can play a bit of yo-yo. I don't necessarily know the names of the tricks, but I, I can do it. Uh, do you remember me? Yes, Ethan, how could I forget you? Uh, P.S. I still have to go to school because they didn't cancel school in Taiwan. I'm sorry about that. Peace. And then uh, there's one little extra message that he sent. I declare a yo-yo battle if you know how to play with a yo-yo. You're challenging me, Ethan, my student. Challenging me to a yo-yo battle here on YouTube, are you? Are you trying to say the circle is now complete, that when you left, I was the master, and you were but the learner, but now you are the master? I don't think so. I accept your challenge, Ethan. Send me your yo-yo battle video. You can upload it to Google Drive and put the link into the message box. And I will defeat you. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Next one, this is a nice one. This is uh, actually from another teacher, which is cool. Uh, he, uh, it says, Dear Mr. O, would you like to go snake searching this spring or summer? Maybe. Many of the snakes in Hong Kong are nocturnal, so we would need to go at night. I'll bring my flashlight, you bring your torch. Hey, hey, my, my, rock and roll will never die. From Mr. Ryan. I love every part of that idea going out, bit of exercise, searching for stuff, flashlights, nighttime, all of that sounds brilliant, except for one thing, the snakes. Think that I'm pretty much afraid of snakes. So I think I'm gonna say, maybe not, maybe we can stay at home and play a computer game instead, Mr. Ryan. Tell me what you think, I'd like to know. Next message, this is from Sonia Wong. Sonia often uh, writes to me. She said, hi, Mr. O, it's me again. I love your videos a lot, and especially the video tops 10 special effects. Thank you. Uh, nowadays, I started to make some special videos, such as cutting the video and making something suddenly disappear. Uh, in this message, I would like to ask you, which app do you use to make the split screen effect? Which is this one. I really want to know so that I can try to make two Sonyas in the video. 
I uh, hope you I hope you can answer me. I look forward to seeing your newest Mr. O reads messages with cats video. So I kind of tried not to talk about exactly what which program or app I use um, for video editing because it's quite it takes quite a long time to learn it. Um, it is free, but you do need a pretty good computer to to run it, especially one that can, like a gaming computer, for example, you'd need to, to run this um, program. But it is free. It's not easy to learn, but I don't know, Sonia, I think you're probably old enough to learn how to use it. So I will tell you, it's called DaVinci Resolve. Um, doing things like split screen in that is pretty easy, um, but it, it would require you really sitting down and learning it. Now, if you've got time from schoolwork to do that, then fine. Of course, any time you use a computer, especially if you're installing a program or going on the internet, ask your parents first and ask them to help you. But yeah, if you really wanted to learn really serious video editing, that is, that would be a very good place to start. So that's the end of the messages. I just wanted to announce um, a couple of things that are happening um, either online or in Hong Kong or both um, in the next uh, maybe week or so. So let me do that now. You can sit down. Be good. Yes, you sit and be good. So the first thing is the uh, Young Readers Festival. Now this happens every year in Hong Kong. Um, it's really, really good fun. They bring authors from around the world to come uh, into schools um, and do talks and things like that. I've, um, I've seen a lot of the talks and I've helped them. Uh, this Wednesday, Sarah Brennan is going to be showing you around um, the studio and how she works. Sarah Brennan made these amazing uh, storybooks um, called the Chinese Calendar Tales. Um, and they are illustrated by Harry Harrison, who if you read the South China Morning Post at the back, he does the, the cartoon. If, you, if you've seen it, you will know it because he's, uh, his style is very famous. Um, I've met Sarah, I haven't met Harry, but uh, she's really wonderful and I really recommend um, if you're free around this time, check out their little online uh, presentation. And on Saturday, um, author Anna Cho and illustrator Joan Lo talk about how they created their Hong Kong stories. This is also super exciting. I don't know these authors, but um, it looks like really good fun. It's so exciting, I think, to meet local authors and see what they're doing and get involved a little bit and to read stories that are written exactly for you um, or, you know, about places that you know. So check that out. Uh, link in the description and have a look at that. So the Young Readers Festival is um, online this year. Normally, the, as I say, the authors would go to schools or there would be workshops uh, with tickets, but because of coronavirus, we can't do that. Um, so check out the website. All of the information is on there. Um, and don't hesitate because, as I say, Wednesday and Saturday, very soon. The other thing I wanted to tell you about is, um, I'm sure many of you know J.K. Rowling and her Harry Potter series of books. So she has actually, she is, she is releasing a new book, it's called The Ichabog, and she's actually releasing it for free on her website, which is super, super exciting, okay? So this is a book that she wrote when she was quite, uh, quite a long time ago, when her children were small, and uh, she, she wrote this book uh, and put it upstairs and in a box and forgot about it and now she's found it again and she's releasing it and all of the money from this book will go to help um, with uh, I think charities related to the coronavirus. So that's great, okay? So it's a fun book, you can read it for free, that's already great. The even better thing is she's got an illustration competition going on, drawing pictures for the book so that when it's actually published, then you will be able to include your picture. I'm not sure if it's if the competition is open for everyone um, in around the world or whether it's just the UK and America, I'm not sure. But if it is, 
or if you can enter, that would be amazing. So again, check out that website, link in the description. The final thing that I wanted to say is, uh, I think many of you are going back to school today or tomorrow, whenever you watch this, uh, Monday the 8th of June. It's super exciting to go back to school. And trust me, even I feel it as well as a teacher. Um, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be great seeing your friends again. So look forward to that. I know you've all waited a really long time and you've done really well, all of you. Remember your distance, your social distance. You know, if you think you can touch a person, you're probably too close. Uh, remember your mask, keep your mask on, try not to touch it. Keep your hands nice and clean, soap and water after eating or going to the toilet and stuff, and the hand sanitizer as well. So those things don't stop even though you're going back to school. Um, but enjoy it when you go back to school. You've really earned it, all of you. That's it from me. This has been Mr. Overy's Messages with Cats. We've got one cat here. The other cat is over there looking out the window. I will see you next time. doesn't really make any sound, so don't worry. <laughs>